in, welcome to my channel, and I am doing another monthly pet haul. So this is my September monthly pet haul. I had to make sure I was in the right month because when your filming gets so early, it's hard to forget which month it is. But I'm going to show you everything I get for my pets for the month. And this is a new thing I started doing. So if you would like to see my August or my July, um, I will leave those links down below. But let's just get right on this. First thing I got is the Yours. Um, it's just another cat collar. And I thought this one was super cute. And of course, it's a breakaway cat collar. And this is just for when Ash gets a little bigger and he needs a new one just because I know he's gonna be coming soon. Cause right now he has on the largest size that his current collar goes up to. So I got him another one. And we just like this really cute plaid. And it has like a little bow tie. And I thought this was the absolute cutest thing ever for him. I also got another bag of the Orchard Grass Hay. So of course I use this for Rhino, my hamster. And this goes inside his enclosure. And I just use this mix in with the bedding. Um, I got a small bag. I believe it's the it's a 15 ounce bag. I don't really think to get the larger bag just because it's not like I'm using a lot of this. So this actually usually lasts a very, very, very long time. But it usually lasts for a few months before I'm actually starting to run out. I also have the Pet Lynx Foxy Frenzy cat toy. So I have to charge this up, but it spins and changes directions. It works on carpet. And then obviously it comes with USB for your charger. So you just charge it up and put it on the ground for your cat to play. And it moves around on its own. And I really think Ash should really like this because he likes to play with stuffed animals a lot. And he absolutely loves it when it starts going all crazy. But when it stops, he usually will leave it alone until it starts moving again. And here's something I got from Rhino. I actually picked this up at Petco. It's the Habitat Natural Snack Flowers and Berries Herbs. Um, obviously you can get this for your hamsters, guinea pigs, like um, bunnies as well. So this has dried fruits, veggies, and flowers. And it has cranberries, hibiscus, rose hips, camille, blueberries, rose petals, marigold, alfalfa, spearmint, and rosemary. And I just wanted to get some more herbs because like I mentioned in one of my videos recently, I think it was my vlog. I show that I don't really have that many herbs anymore. So I'm hoping that he would like this. I'm sure he will. He usually likes these kind of herbs. But yeah, I was actually surprised to see this from the Petco because I usually actually don't. And then I also have the Max Riverwood decor. Um, it's just another driftwood, which would be perfect for Rhino's enclosure. You know, usually you have to order driftwood depending on where you're from, but Petco is well I'm learning that they actually have a lot of driftwood available or like cork logs. So I just thought this would be really nice. I really like these and like cork flats. They're my actually favorite. And then the last thing that I got right now is the Eco Earth Coconut Fiber Substrate. So this is basically just dirt to put inside of Rhino's enclosure. I wanted to get some more substrate just because I was actually like really low on a lot of things that I have for him. So this is one of the things that I definitely want to get some more of. And usually when I was ordering this, I would only find it in the smaller bags. I couldn't find it in the larger bags for like nothing, like no matter what, I don't know why. So when I saw it, I was like, oh, I definitely need some more of this. So this is just a nice extra substrate and texture for his enclosure and just another digging substrate for him. And that's everything that I have for my monthly pet haul so far. Um, I know I have more things coming in in the upcoming days, so once I get those things, I will come back and show you guys those things, and then I will keep coming back, showing the rest of the things that I get for the month. But yeah, I will see you all in my next clip. I'm back to show you guys the few things that I've gotten. Um, this is just a couple of things that I picked up recently, so it's not going to be a long, like, section haul, if it makes sense. So. The first thing that I got is two bags of the Carefresh bedding. Um, I think I got my well, options upside down. <laughs> I have it in the 50 liter size, so this is just the white. Of course, it's unbleached, but I got two bags of these, 
if you watch my um sending up my whichever one it is of my latest sending up like rhinos hamsters and closure um you will see that i use this bedding mixed in with the hay that i also show you guys in my previous clip just to help make sure my bedding um the burrows the burrows is actually stabilized enough i also got the um intellect dent cat bites so this just supports healthy gum and teeth um it is crunchy so if you do have an older cat and he has like little teeth or just a young young kid who can't eat crunchy foods or anything like that i probably won't recommend this because they are crunchy um i know some people that are used with saying their cat basically just swallowed this whole so i did make sure that ash actually chewed it because that's of course how you get the benefits of it is from the cat chewing it but he does chew it just fine but these are great tasting bites to help maintain healthy teeth and gums while supporting daily dental health and freshening the breath they help fight and reduce plaque and tartar buildup. They say I give these three times a day, but I literally just give these to Ash once a day. Um, just because they're new and I want to make sure they're all good with him. Like it actually, like he's okay with them before I actually give him so many a day. Cause he's also eating the healthy kitten vitamins. So I give these to him once a day, but it does say you can use it three times a day. This has been used already um, in my hamster setup video, but this is my refty sand. Um, of course, you want to have sand for your hamper's enclosure. And you guys, I swear it took me so long to finally get sand again. I couldn't, I still couldn't find um, hamster sand for like not even hamster sand, but like ham sand for my hamster for Rhino for forever. And no matter what, unless I ordered, I just couldn't find it. And I didn't really want to order sand again, but I literally had no choice because I couldn't even find it in PetSmart or Petco. Not even like, I just couldn't find it, so I ended up having to order it off of Amazon. So, yeah, I just have another bag of Repi Sand, and I actually really do like it because it's really fine and it isn't too dusty. This one and um, the one from Night Angel are probably my favorite sands that you can use, but I will be honest, the one from Night Angel costs a lot more and the bag is small, but that, that sand is honestly amazing. I would probably rebuy it one day, but it's basically a splurge at this point because. It is so expensive for that small bag of sand especially if you like to use a lot of sand in your hamsters enclosure and then the last thing that I got is this cat toy house it is for Halloween but he already destroyed it so I'm just going to start clips of it so I will be showing clips of what it actually looked like when I first got it because right now it's completely destroyed the whole thing is just broken down it looks like I broke down boxes to go out to the trash he actually really enjoyed like being in it and it does have a two-story to it so if we go in through the top it has a cat scratcher which holds it for the second layer and then of course it's got cat scratcher at the bottom as well but it was halloween thing it was really cute um i believe it was from target and it was like around like 20 bucks so i will have clips of like how that looks but it was really cute and i wish that i wait to set it up until um halloween because now we gotta get another one which is actually kind of unfortunate but i have to get another one for halloween time because i do want to do like um like my pet set up halloween area type of video but yeah that's everything that i have for right now and i will come back when i have more things because i'm pretty sure i will because there's a few more things i need to get for this month so then that'll probably be my last um haul for this clip well for these clips but yeah, I will see you all in a bit. Alright guys, so I am back to show you the last things I got for this month. Um, a lot of things that I wanted to get for the pets, I'm definitely saving it for October um, hauls and like videos. Just because I know most of the stuff that I will be getting further from this point will mainly um, be stuff for Halloween. So, as you can see, I got this huge bag. I got this 40 pound bag. I'm gonna try and pick it up, but I got this 40 pound bag of pine litter. If you guys know, I usually get the, um, I don't know. I'll literally put a picture of which one I use here, but this time I decided to use this one. I think it's the Exquisite or Exquisite. Um, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's the Exquisite um, cat pine litter. And I got the 40 pound bag of this, which is why I'm struggling to pick this up. This bag is extremely heavy, so. I got this bag of cat litter because I need some more and I also want to try this one because I know they're basically the same exact thing 
But this one, I believe the prices were cheaper for this size as opposed to the one I usually get. So I thought that this time I would try this version of it and see if I like it. And then I also have a small bag of more cat food. Usually, you guys know I get the fancy feast. But this time, I thought I'd try something a little different. Just because he is so young, I'm trying to get like, I'm trying to figure out which food he actually loves the most. So I got the I Am Perfect Portions, Healthy Kin, and the Chicken Recipe. So I actually have six of these um, just because I thought it'd be a good amount to try out first before I like get more. So if he likes these, and I like that it's already split and it's not in the can. So I feel like this is actually quite perfect um, and so convenient to have and be able to close. So I got six of these to try out. They're all in the chicken recipe flavor. They're related like, I think like a dollar per one. So <laughs> I'm going to try these with him later today. And then last thing that I got is something super simple and small. I literally saw it and I was like, it's only a dollar. So like what harm can it do? is just this cat toy it's literally just a spring kind of like what i used to play with when i was younger um he likes small cat toys a lot and he's always playing with them so i literally saw it for a dollar and i was like why not just pick one up just so i can add to this cat toy basket but yeah that is everything that i got for my september monthly haul if you guys enjoyed please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe and ring that bell to know about every time i upload I'm going back to uploading twice a month, I mean twice a week. <laughs> so thank you all so much for watching and I will hopefully see you all in my next video. Bye.